Hello, today I'm going to be doing part one for the robotic arm that I'm going to be making for future projects. First, uh, I need to, I made some blueprints for the first part of the build, uh, and I'll be 3D printing them. Uh, so let's get straight on, and I can show you the 3D print, and then we can 3D print it. Okay, hello. This is the 3D print that we'll be doing. It is basically just a saw dirt with a hole through it so we can fit a servo in there. So I'm just going to export this and send it to my 3D printer and print it. So I'll see you guys. Oh, I'll see you guys when it's done. Okay, so the 3D print is done printing, um, and I need to get some servos for it. Uh, as you can see, there's a little hole for the end of the servo to go in. Um, this part is going to be <laughs> mounted up, like over here, and it's going to be able to rotate, and uh, there'll be a robotic, like there'll be a robotic arm that's this way, and then this way so and you'll be able to control it with i think some i have some joysticks let's go check okay cool i got all the parts that i need we have the 3d printed base plate for the robot arm arduino uno three joysticks and a servo which I'll be using. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is start making this. Oh, and my 3D printer's still on. Let's turn that off. Okay, cool. So, yeah, let's get right into the build montage thing. Okay, so I'm done with all the circuits, and so far it's basic. Um, I put the other two joysticks for the other two servos that I'll add later, um, but currently I only have, have it hooked up for one servo. So we got the servo pin going here and into pin three, uh, PWN. Then I have the five volts and ground hooked up to our uh, ground and positive on the breadboard, and then I have the, the yellow wire going to A0, so we have an analog input of, on the on pin 0 for the, on the x-axis for this joystick. I'm probably not, I don't really have anything that I need to do for the y-axis, um, I could make it for the y-axis, but I'm w we actually, let's, I guess technically I should make it for the y-axis because if you think about it, this is going to be spinning on the y, it's not, it's not going to be tilting on the y-axis, it's going to be on the x-axis, so let's switch that out right there for x-axis. That's all we need to do. Now we can start and go over to the computer and start programming. Okay, I just finished um, uploading code and stuff, and it's all working pretty fine. If I can show you, so if we turn it, it goes one way, and then we can just do, and it just turns whichever direction you want it to turn till it reaches its 180 degree max. These servos only have a certain uh, length that they can go. So that's all done and I'm done. So this was part one of building the robot. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.